Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TT's Footprints. Today I bring you the North Indian favorite recipe, the classic Rajma Chawal. If you are new to my channel and this is your first visit, hello and welcome. I do post some simple and some traditional recipes every week. Do subscribe to my channel and join me in my journey. This video is longer than my usual because this time I am showing you two recipes, the Rajma Curry and Jeera Rice. Rajma Chawal is a favorite North Indian cuisine especially among the Punjabis. This is generally had with plain boiled white rice but I have done a variation of this with Jeera Rice. To begin with, soak the Rajma for 6 to 8 hours or overnight. When soaked well, you will find that the skin comes off very easily. Pressure cook it with a little bit of salt. After the first whistle, leave it on low flame for 5 to 6 whistles more. We will leave the kidney beans to cook and we will start with the curry. Crushing the ginger, garlic and chilies in a mortar and pestle gives added aroma to the curry. Blend the tomatoes and finely chop the onions. Heat a deep bottom pan and add 2 tablespoons of ghee. When hot, splutter some cumin. Add in the chopped onions and fry till translucent. Add in the crushed ginger garlic chilli paste and fry till it is nice golden brown. I can't get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night Add in the tomato puree and you have to see that this is fried very well till the oil separates. Once it is well fried, add in a little bit of water so that it doesn't burn from the bottom. Now add in the dry powders like turmeric, chilli, coriander and garam masala. Once the masalas are well fried, add in a little water and then add in the cooked rajma. Once cooked, the rajma should be very tender. Add in required quantity of water and bring it to a boil. 
taste and add salt if required because we have added salt earlier. Finally, add in the lime juice and garnish with coriander leaves. When done, switch off the heat and your rajma curry is ready. Let's now start with the jeera rice. For this, you can use basmati rice or any ordinary raw rice that's available at home. Wash and drain the rice well. Washing and draining the rice helps to remove much of the starch, which in turn helps the grains from sticking to each other. In a deep bottom pan, add the butter and cumin seeds. Add in the whole spices. This is totally optional. I add it because it gives an added flavor. Now add in the drained rice. Add in a little of lime juice and fry the rice very well till it is nice and crisp. When the rice is fried in oil or butter, it gives it a shiny texture and also helps it from not sticking to each other. Once it is fried well, add in double the quantity of boiled hot water. Bring it to a roaring boil on high flame. Now that it has started boiling well, reduce the flame to low and let the water evaporate. Keep checking till you find that all the water is evaporated. See that the rice is not totally dried out but it is still damp when you switch off. The water that is remaining in the vessel will get evaporated in the steam itself and the rice will remain fluffy. Enjoy this served hot. Cooked rajma or kidney beans are considered to be a rich source of proteins, iron and phosphorus. And when combined with rice makes a complete protein diet. If you enjoy watching my videos and find them helpful, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new notifications. Do share them with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and meet you soon in my next one. Do it without like this was forever Can I take you there?